Uh, thank you very much, Meg, uh, for your support, not just in word, but in action. You have truly acted and supported us, not just Homa Bay, you have supported us uh, as governors, and, and I'm really thankful on behalf of all of us for your support and guidance. I remember when we first met you as women governors, you told us, don't tell us many things. You know, we came with everything in the world we could think of. You said, just tell us about three key things. And that's a lesson I learned on focus. And that's a lesson that we are taking forward. I would like to recognize uh, Gerald Mahinda, uh, Gerald Mahinda of uh, Afropal, Asante Sana. We're going to do the palm oil um, journey together and we'll be signing the MOUs here together with the Migori County government tomorrow. Uh, for, so that we begin the journey on, on oil palm. The UK delegation, the British delegation, Asante Sana John and your entire team, you have supported us and we are truly grateful for your support. The Homer Bay team that worked day and night, did not sleep at all to have this conference happen in the way it has. Please just rise and wave wherever you are. Tafadali, Asante Sana. This team, led by the DG, Mumefanya Kazi Kwa Bidi, together with the Council of Governors team, and Can Invest, who have also worked with us, and the Kenya Tourism Board, who have worked together with us to get this far. Your Excellency, um, we have now, between you and me, about 25 minutes. So if you allow me, I'm just going to use five. And then the, the other one, I will leave to uh, CS Alfred Mutua, uh, to also invite uh, CS Mvuria and invite you. So we are not going to go beyond, one minute beyond the one hour. Uh, we are that disciplined. So Your Excellency, allow me to really thank you for the work that you're doing together with us here in Homer Bay. The affordable housing program, today you don't have time, but it is nearly d uh, done. They are fixing the windows. Interestingly, the windows to weld the windows and doors. The contract was given to a joint team of welders from Homer Bay County in totality, or Yugis, Mbita, everywhere. They came together and they saw a contract of 11 million for the first time in their lives. They are looking for money, so I'll be talking to Paul and uh, Nassim and the others to advance them some credit so that they can do the windows, finish the windows, and this is what you know, putting money really in the pockets of the people um, is about. I'd like to thank you for the lakefront and the pier that the, is currently being worked on by the Kenya Ports Authority and the shipyard. And it's really turning out to be a great place. Uh, and the fish market. When you came, you found the women washing fish and you talked to them on top of a small rock there. They are no longer there. And the market is nearly 40% done, started in December. So soon, I'm sure, when you come back, uh, when we are celebrating Mashuja Day here, the first thing that you will do, Your Excellency, you will open the <laughs> you will open the uh, the market, and then uh, we will come to the stadium, the Railo Dinga Stadium here in Homer Bay, to celebrate the Mashuja Day. Uh, Your Excellency, Io, Your Excellency, we got sub counties here. Suba West, Suba Central, uh, and Suba North has remained, and we are very, very pleased. One, and, and Rachonyo West. So, Your Excellency, we are very grateful. There's one constituency that is the biggest that we have. It has remained as one, one sub-county. It's called Ndewa. So, they sent me and told me that that one fear, ikikatwa kidogo, sasa atuna maneno, ata atuongei. And the Rusinga Ring Road, the contractors are already on site. The Mfangano Ring Road is going on. The road from Sori is going on. So really, Your Excellency, we have a lot to thank you um, uh, for. What you are ODM, tunapanga namna hii, lakini kama tumepangika hivi, tunaendelea kusema asante hivyo. Your Excellency, welcome to the great Homa Bay County, the gateway to East Africa. It is with immense pleasure and gratitude that I stand before you today as the first female governor of Homer Bay County and indeed the entire Western region. I'm filled with hope and excitement for what lies ahead and within our grasp. 
This international investment conference is not merely an envisioning of possibilities, but a testament to the unwavering commitment of our county in fostering economic growth and nurturing innovation across all sectors. The big question here, here is why Homer Bay, and Meg has done a fantastic job, because we are the bay of endless potential. We have a vibrant and stable economy, skilled and dynamic workforce, suitable market access and infrastructure, availability of land for development, ease of doing business, and a supportive legislative and policy environment. Importantly, we boast of well-developed transport infrastructure, including efficient road networks, enabling seamless connectivity within and outside the county. The establishment and operation of the Kabunde airstrip has further improved access to our great county. In Homer Bay, indeed, we no longer arrive. We, we land, Your Excellency. And I'm happy that Caleb is here because he's going to be expanding uh, that runway so that bigger planes can come. Imagine the possibilities of investing in our agricultural sector, where innovative techniques and technologies can unlock greater yields and sustainable practices. Agriculture employs 74% of our local workforce, and it merely contributes about 25% to our gross county product. This presents an opportunity for greater investments to unlock labor, productivity, and profitability. Our CIDP has identified and prioritized a number of agricultural value chains, which are key in spurring our economic potential. We aim to revitalize cotton production. The Excellency, we aim to be leaders in cotton production. We aim to produce 50% of the cotton produced in this country. How? We have registered 37,000 farmers on 42,000 acres. We, as a county, have bought 10 tons of seed, BT seed, for this season costing about 50 million shillings. The government, uh, River Tax, together with uh, industry, are also giving us another 10 tons. That makes it 20 tons. We can grow on about 20,000 acres um, this year. If the country grows on 60 or 70,000 acres, we will be going towards the 50% mark of cotton production in this country, Your Excellency. Now, wao ni wakulima ambao wako hapa, they are registered on the Kiamis. We know them, where they are, how they are, how much land they have, it is not guesswork anymore because of the digitization of this um, sector. Our edible crop, oil crop variety includes sunflower, soya beans, groundnuts, and oil palm. And their anticipated production is 246,000 metric tons in three years. Tomorrow we will sign with Afropal, our uh, MOU together with Migori County, and we hope to move forward the oil palm discussion, Your Excellency, and sunflower to Mepata seed. We have it here, but we didn't want to distribute it in a hurry because we don't want to throw the seed to farmers we don't know. So I told my agriculture team, let our farmers, I want to seed them, and the acres that they want to put this thing on so that we know where we are taking it. So Your Excellency, Importantly, we have the potential of utilizing approximately 767,000 acres of land suitable for oil palm production. To, this, to achieve this, we seek uh, to raise about $27 million, which we will do slowly together with our partners. Additionally, we are investing in sweet potatoes in Kabon Dokasipul, as well as pineapples, which grow uh, in Rangwe, uh, Your Excellency. Uh, aquaculture is a big area for us. We envision opportunities in our fishery sector with about 80% of Lake Victoria uh, being in Homer Bay. When Gatsby has done the research, they have shown that 40% or 45% of production of aquaculture should be able to be done here in, in Homer Bay. Your Excellency, picture the potential of our tourism industry. Where our pristine beaches, lush forests, vibrant cultural heritage can cap captivate the hearts of travelers from around the globe. Take a journey to our majestic Ruma National Park, where the Rowan antelope is only found uh, in Kenya, and the potential of sustainable flow of an upward of 5,500 tourists annually. Visit our iconic 16 islands of Rusinga, Fangano, Sena, Ngode, Kiwa, among others, as well as the piers of Kindu, Homer Bay, Mbita. Indulge in the view of flamingos of Lake Simbinya and its mythical volcanic lake. Your Excellency, from Kabunde to Mara Serena, exactly two hours driving. So tourists can actually come and even drive here, take a cruise ship from here, cruise to Siaya and Kisumu, and cruise back even to Mwanza, into the Serengeti, come back that way. Your Excellency, we are ready. We are in full gear towards...
We are in full gear towards operation of the Rewa Special Economic Zone. And I'd like to thank you for gazetting the Rewa Special Economic Zone here in Karachuonyo. And today you will be launching it officially for us within the remaining 25 minutes. You will be launching it officially for us. And SCZ Authority is here to provide us with, uh, with, uh, with an operating license. But the most interesting bit, Your Excellency, is today as you give us an operating license, you will also be giving Victory Farms an enterprise license to be our anchor tenant for a fish processing plant within the Rewa Special Economic Zone. Uh, Victory have told me just three things. They've said they want, uh, there's a bit of flooding problem there. So they want me to deal with that. And uh, I think Raymond had spoken to NYS to get the tractors there to desilt the river tender so that we can dike that river. They've also said they'd like some power uh, which if you put your, uh, you know, push Kidogo, we will get some power. And they said within 60 days, they want to break ground. And if within 60 days, uh, we have not sorted me and you, the problems there, they, are, they want to now just look for an easy place to set up. Your Excellency, 60 days, to Pambane, Pamoja, to Onekama, power can be there. The road I will do, they want the road raised, that one is on me, electricity and the silting. That one I want to leave for you, so that you uh, to skumia. We are in full gear. I promise today we are not asking for many things. Just Riwa and Mashuja, just two. <laughs> Your Excellency, hata ni memaliza speech. Nisionge sana. Wacha nisionge kwa sababu dakika tano imeisha. I would just like to tell our investors that we are in strong partnership. Homa Bay is ready. Homa Bay is open. We are facilitating. We, we will facilitate you. We are corruption free. We don't want corruption here. If anybody tells you, give me something for you to do ABC, call me because my phone is always there. That is not allowed here. We do not want to do that to our investors. We want you to just come and invest. All we want is your investment. Land we are giving you. All we want is for you to invest so that these people of Omar Bay, these young men and women you see here, can get jobs, places to work. That is what we would like to achieve for our for our people. And Your Excellency Nikimalizia, Jana Tumeona, Kama Mambo, Iko. You know, uh, we would like, as Moses said, for His Excellency, Right Honorable Raila Molo Dinga, we support him fully for the African Union. And we thank you for your support and for pushing that for us. Asante sana, tunataka kusonga na iyo Mbele, na tunashikana tu, sisi vile ni mekuambia kila siku. Mzee, nituko nyuma yake tu fully like this. We look at him like this. Where he's pointing, we go, Your Excellency. So hiyo, mkishika, ukimsaidia hiyo, we are very, very, we are very, very grateful. Tunashkuru sana. So mimi. <laughs> yeah, tunashida. Yeah, Your Excellency, we thank you. 20 minutes are left, and I'd like to invite uh, CS Alfred Mutua to take over from here and invite uh, CS Mvuria, who will in turn invite His Excellency, who will be running back uh, to the airport as soon as he gives his remarks. Asante ni sana na mungu wa bariki. Makofi kwa wageni wetu wote. Asante ni sana.